you've never seen a classroom board like this, it looks like a dry erase board. The teachers and students wait until you see what it can do next. Welcome back to Houston's News at 9. We're getting a glimpse into the classroom of tomorrow, today. Yes, a local school is now using a high-tech board that really changes the way your kids learn. The WB Steve Simon checks it out in tonight's WB Interactive. When your parents went to school, they learned off the chalkboard. Most kids now learn from a board like this. But one day soon, all classrooms could look like this. What I do is I basically grab onto the image and I move it over. You've never seen physics or anything else for that matter taught this way. St. John's School, the only school in Houston with active boards. They work with a projector and a PC. I like toys as a physics teacher. But this is more than just an expensive plaything. It allows me to demonstrate a whole bunch of things that I couldn't do otherwise. The wireless stylus lets you do things like resize images. Let me make this a little bit bigger. You can move things. You can make 3D images come to life. You could even incorporate things from a website. It makes it more interactive, like he'll do all these demos and it makes it, he can put up diagrams without having to spend time drawing them. He can just pop them up. As the years go on here, you're going to see more and more active boards. What you won't see is chalk. They're getting rid of all this stuff. In fact, they're getting rid of all the blackboards. The active boards come from a company based in England, where the technology is getting into more and more schools. St. John's School started with these back in September. They have 21 in the school, from kindergarten to high school. The thing about this board is that the software is designed for schools. It gives the teacher the tools that a teacher needs. A school needs about $1,700 for each board. Software and accessories are extra. Money well spent? Well, you don't have to be an Einstein to figure that out. This has uh, a big impact on their attention. For WB Interactive, I'm Steve Simon.